Hello guys. Um, I want to show you a cool way where you could uh, search Google Insight, Google Sheets. Um, so I'll show you first how it works. So this is my Google Sheet. In this orange cell, I'm just going to change my search engine query. So you can see, I just get some search results inside Google Sheets. Pretty cool, right? Okay, let's see how to get this done. Uh, some people would call this scraping uh, Google, but actually it's not. It's a legal way to scrape, uh, get Google search results. Um, yeah, so let's see how to do this. Mm, so first, we need to create a Google custom search engine. So go to csc.google.com. So I've already created one. So if you go here, under the websites to search, you can leave it empty. Just enable search the entire web to on. Okay. So this is the only thing you need to do here. And also copy your search engine ID. So this is your CX ID. So copy your search engine ID and paste it next to the CX ID right over here. Okay. Okay. Now we have done this. The next step is you need to get a uh, Google custom search API key so again I have linked in the description so this is the page where you need to go go here and click, click on get a key yeah so you can just select or create a project and uh, press next and you will get a key So once you're done with this, you need to copy that and paste it inside this uh, Google Sheet next to this API key. Okay. So ignore this YouTube for now. So Q is the place where you enter the search query. Okay. So we are having three cells: D4, D5, and D7 for um, our. Uh, you know as a, as a part of this process now we'll have to enable create a url with these three parameters so to do that i have used this concatenate function here what it is doing is basically it is creating url out of these uh, four parameters uh, so i'll show you how to do that so let me copy this and paste it in this gedit sheet so you can see this is the url format so you can see that it's starting with https googleapis.com slash custom search slash v1 and uh, the key is there next to it and then the cx id is there and the q is equal to uh, the search engine keyword is here right so this is how the query works so now let's go and copy this url and paste it in a browser and press enter so now you can see that this is uh, you can see it's giving some results in a JSON format. So yeah, that's it. So now the next step is we have to find a way to bring these results into Google Sheets. So we are going to use a function called import JSON. So the code can be achieved from this particular URL. I have um, linked it in the description as well. So you need to copy this. need to copy this entire code and paste it inside your google sheet so to do that you need to go to tools script editor it here okay and select and save it and save it as import json.js so once you're done with that uh, save it and restart the sorry refresh your excel sheet 
now let's analyze this response right so now we are trying to get back title url and the snippet from the results page that i showed you here so you can see that <coughs> this information is coming under items slash title right so now we'll use this import json i'll show you how that function works so to get the title i am using import json uh, since we have the url format in d10 so i'm saying import json d10 go to slash item slash title and do not take in headers so similarly so this is uh, getting getting us the title if you want to get the url similarly go to items and go to title and get so coca cola should be returned so we can see that here title coca cola is returned for the url we have to do items slash link so you can see here it is items slash link so the snippet similarly items slash snippet and for the image link uh, it is present in a different place so we will have to go to items and then page map so you can see page map is here and under that csc thumbnail and then under that source src so that is what is mentioned here i slash items page map csc image so, uh, slash source no headers so if you want to get the image from this particular image url we have to use the function is equal to image of f uh, 14 wherever the image link is present so that's how these images are getting populated so this is how you get search engine results inside google um, hope you found this url sorry this video useful i can also show you some other search engine queries uh, let's see You can this you can use this function to create your own search engine similar to Google. Uh, you get hundred search queries free every day. If you want more, you could uh, take a paid API key. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty nice way to create your own search engine and share it to the world. The only issue is that you will get only ten search results at a time. Uh, currently, there is no way to get more. You can use the num function to get up till 100 but again uh, Google will again throttle you and these results are not this as accurate as Google they are just a little bit uh, not the, it doesn't have the best ranking as Google has but it is the closest that uh, you get to Google without spending a lot of money right? yeah hope you found this video useful um, I'll see you in the next video